so hello and welcome back to my channel black imperial travel um we are here in bratislava slovakia so this is video number two of the series i'm doing where i'm doing five countries in 10 days i just left budapest we were on the bus for like two hours it said we weren't supposed to get here until like 250 but we're here like an hour early because it's 138 so he was pushing that thing it was a very smooth ride we're here at the bus station now i'm about to figure out transportation to get to my hostel i'm staying at if you're wondering why my voice is like <clears throat> i'm not sick i was just screaming too much <laughs> yesterday now it's like no 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 so yeah, um, we're here in Bratislava, very excited for country number two, never been to Slovakia. So yeah, it is Easter Sunday, so I don't know what's going to be open, what's not going to be open, as long as I can eat. <laughs> that's, that's really all I got. Um, so yeah. This is a really like nice and modern and clean bus station. So I'm gonna just show you real quick, but this is like their equivalent of like the Greyhound station. Like they could never do this back home. <laughs> so I'm right outside the bus station, which also happens to be like in the mall. I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally like the mall. When I came up the elevator, I was like, I'm in a mall. Weird, but cool. But I just bought a ticket um, at this little terminal here. It was nine euro for like a 72 hour. They, the only option was like 24 hour, 72 hour. So I got a 72 hour option. Oh, sorry, I have to validate my ticket immediately after boarding the first bus. Okay, okay, so. I will do that. But yeah, I got this. It was nine euro. The bus should be here any minute now. Um, and I'm going to take it to the hostel. It's only like 15 minutes from where I'm at. So very accessible. So I'm here at the hostel now, but nobody's at the front desk. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here waiting, looking funny. Um, this is actually my first time staying in a hostel. So we will see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'll show you. It's like in a building, like a business building. So I was trying to figure out where I was going because the Google Maps didn't have it like all the way together. So obviously I'll show y'all now that I know where I'm at, but this is like the lobby and stuff. Okay, so it is 2.33 p.m. I had talked to some people who were at the hostel and they said they've been sitting there waiting for someone to come because there's like no reception there for like people to check in. They sent them a WhatsApp message and they said they've been waiting for an hour. And I said, oh, I'm hungry. That's not in my, that's not in my ministry. So I just left my bag there. Um, it's locked, like I have a luggage lock on it. So I feel like it'll be fine. Um, with everybody else. Everybody else left their bags in the in the area where I left my bag. And I'm going to go eat. And then I'll try to come back to the hostel after I eat. Um, but I'll show you where it is. Okay, I'm going to have to show y'all the outside when I go back outside because I didn't realize I'm like in the old town area. So the GPS was like not as accurate. So I was trying to figure out where I was going. But I'm here. It's at like a traditional Slovakian restaurant. So, you know, I want to try the local cuisine. So that's what we're doing. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll just show y'all the menu because, you know, I don't know how to pronounce the names. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I had to make sure I tried the local lager. So I got the big one. I think that's the Erpiner. It just tastes like a regular light beer. Like, um, 
I don't know. Reg like it's regular. Like it's it, it's regular. I just wanted to try it because I try to try every country's beer. So. so the food is here. I got pierogies. I don't know what they're stuffed with, but as I've been in like Eastern Europe, it's been very pork heavy. You know, I don't normally eat pork. We're just gonna eat pork to do what the locals do, and then I'll I won't be eating pork. <laughs> But let me show you it, yeah. And I actually think she pronounced it pierogi, not pierogi. So I think I've been pronouncing that wrong my whole life. It's stuffed with potato. I don't know why I thought it was going to be meat. It's good though, like it has good flavor, good seasoning. Let me try it with the sauce. It's sour cream. It's good though. It's good. <laughs> so this was the restaurant I had ate at, but we're in the center of Old Town. So, as you see, it is very crowded. hostel checked in everything is good now he apologized for not being here earlier so it's not that big of a deal I just wanted to eat so um this is my room I do have a private room it is a shared bathroom space because it is a hostel so like I said this is my first time staying in a hostel I think while I'm here um like doing this like five countries in ten days I think I'm staying at three different hostels <laughs> so I'm branching out a little bit for me the only thing is I did not realize it was a twin bed but that's okay I'm only here for two days not that deep not my first time sleeping in a twin bed because I don't feel like pushing them together. That is a lot. Yeah, I don't feel like doing that. walked around basically you know gave myself a little tour of the facilities so I showed you the bathroom I want you to know that before I started like recording like I went in there first to make sure <laughs> that like no one was using like the toilet or the shower I didn't just go in there like ready to film so just know that but I wanted to show y'all so y'all could see what I'm gonna be doing for the next two days. Like I said, it's different for me, but I mean, it's clean and it's functional and it was quite affordable to be honest. And the location is bomb. Definitely center city, definitely in the thick of it. So yeah, now that y'all have seen everything, I'm gonna get myself together and see y'all in a bit. Okay, we're back. She's refreshed. She's ready. Um. I am about to go and hit the Old Town area. That's literally where I just was for lunch. But, you know, I just went for lunch and came back to, you know, get to the hostel, get settled. So I'm going to go do some, basically just some walking around, see what's going on. Then there's this wine bar there called Cork that opens at 5. It is 441, so I'm probably not going to be there at 5, but I'll be there, you know, like 515, whatever. Um, and just see, you know, what's going on because... I wanted to book a wine tour tomorrow to Madra, I believe is the name. Um, and it's basically like a famous like winemaking area here in Slovakia. But all the tours I was looking at, basically they did not allow for like one person, like a solo traveler, like you had to be at least two or more people like to book a reservation. So I wasn't able to book a reservation to Madra because I'm a solo traveler. Um, and I hate when that happens, like that happens sometimes when like get your guide or via tour or these certain sites, like the company just won't allow, like, I doubt I would have been the only person on the tour. Like I might've been the only solo person, but I'm pretty sure there would have been like other people. Like I get, you're not going to do like a private tour for one person, but you like, you know what I mean? Like you, you get it. You get it. We're here. So because of that, I wanted to try a couple of wine bars here in Bratislava so that I can at least get, you know, a feel of like what the, you know, Slovakian wine scene is like. 
And also, like literally crazy, I um, had posted on my Facebook, you know, that hey, like, you know, I'm here in Bratislava. And one of my friends, literally, that I met seven, seven years ago <laughs> when I was first, like my first trip ever studying abroad when I was in Santander, I had met him out there and I have not seen him since. And he was like, oh my gosh, like we're here in Bratislava. So like, I have to meet up with my guy. Like that is my pal. So we're also gonna do some walking around and exploring as well. So hopefully I'll get him on the vlog so y'all can see him, but that's my guy. So I'm actually really excited. And that's really uncanny that um, one of my friends that I made years ago out of the country, like we're still connected and shockingly, we get to see each other today. So I think that that's really cool. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's everything I got. Let's get cracking. This is Old Town Bratislava. You can see this is where basically I was earlier when I was at the restaurant to go eat lunch. So it was actually quite bustling as you can see for it to be Easter Sunday. So a lot was still happening. Some of those like you can see, but a lot of stuff was open. So nobody, nobody was really stopping. <laughs> I thought it was funny because of the Starbucks. Like, it doesn't matter where you are, there is literally always going to be a Starbucks. Starbucks will put themselves everywhere. Um, so this is like the main square area that they told me about, which is really nice. And I honestly was just walking around to kind of get a feel, but it's just basically a lot of restaurants, bars, different shops in this area that is Old Town. And then I believe this is the main cathedral. And I walked by and they were actually having Easter service. So I peeped my head in and then came back out. But yeah, that's what I saw. So I am by the road, so hopefully you can hear me. But I'm basically on the edge of like Old Town, I think. Um, so I've literally just been walking around. So all of those clips that you see, is like me just walking around looking <laughs> at the stuff. So gonna do some more walking around and looking at the stuff. But it's cool, but you see like that's Old Town. And then you see here, that's like all the modern stuff. So you know, it's like the juxtaposition between like old meets new, vintage, modern, you know? It's cool. I really like it here. So I actually stumbled upon the wine bar that I wanted to go to, but when I pulled up, I looked at my phone, it was 501. I ain't seen nobody in there. So I'm gonna just walk around a little bit more. But if not, there I saw like three more wine bars. So regardless, <laughs> I will find it. As we pan away from the cathedral on the right, here on the left are basically like the old city walls and the city gate. So what they had on display here were basically the Hungarian queens and kings, like their entire, well, I don't know if it was their entire lineage, but as you can see by the years, it was a good bit of their lineage <laughs> that they had on display here amongst the city walls. And I basically just walked around to see everything around the perimeter of the city walls, this little exhibit. All of this was free, by the way. You're just walking around and you can, how small and tight everything was back then. <laughs> Um, but it was just very cool to just walk around and I mean as you can see just look at the walls that they have kept basically for centuries and you can see the difference between what they have now in Bratislava and what they had back then which is cool then it was like a five minute walk back to the wine bar they had music playing so I have to voice this over but it, as you can see a lot of wine they only had one Slovakian wine available. The rest were import. So I did try their one Slovakian wine and an Italian wine. This is their Riesling, local Riesling. Here, walking around, bopping around. Come, come, my friend. <laughs> yes. So we're here in Bratislava, walking around, doing the things, bar hopping. So yeah. Okay, hello y'all. It is 11.16. I am here back at the hostel. I know there has been some lag time, but um, I met up with my friend Rok and then his other two friends, and they're all from Slovenia, which is not far from here in Slovakia. So they were like 
let's you know take you to the local spots you know so you can drink so i was trying beers shots gin all that so i wasn't recording because <laughs> i was busy drinking but now i'm sleepy but i did make sure to get me a good hearty slice of pizza before i went in for bed tonight so me i'm out to take a little shower real quick and lay it on down so that's it for my first day night here in uh, Bratislava and I will see you all in the morning. Hello and good morning from Bratislava. It is Monday, April 10th. It is around 8.40 a.m. here. So I had such a good time last night catching up with my friend Rok and also he was with his other two friends. They're all Slovenian, but it was fun. So today I have a free walking tour here in Bratislava at like 10 a.m. Where this hostel is located, it's actually like really quite central so the meeting point for uh the walking tour is literally like a three minute walk from the hostel so i'm just gonna head into old town find somewhere to get me some breakfast and then go on the walking tour after that i don't have any solid plans so you know walk around more find somewhere to eat um and you know just see what else i can get into here in the city uh but i do have reservations tonight at like the ufo hotel it's like a building that looks like a ufo so i'm really excited because that's like on the other side of where um like the more modern stuff is that i had showed you yesterday so that's gonna be fun looks like it's gonna be a sunny day here at least from what i can tell so that's exciting because it literally has not been sunny it was not sunny in budapest um and it was sunny here a little bit yesterday but i think it's gonna be a full sunny day so that's exciting um so yeah that's what i got going on you already know come along let's go So I just finished at the uh, restaurant. Um, I had got like, it's like these like bacon cheddar pancakes. So they're meant to be like savory pancakes, but they had like scallion and something else. So um, I definitely let the intrusive thoughts win there. It was good like the first couple of bites, but then like the cheese sauce just got really overwhelming. So yeah, I won't do that again. I'm just leave pork alone for the rest of the trip. I just, I'm just leaving it alone. I'm about to go um, head to my walking tour now. I see another walking tour right here. So, but I don't think this is mine because mine starts at 10 and it is 9.52. So let me go over there <laughs> right now. Okay, yeah, I'm here now. It's 9.56. It literally was around the corner from where I was eating. So yeah, we should be getting started <laughs> here soon. summer festival and there's also a stage like in the main square but also like in here there are many like small like as an example theater plays taking place for kids you know as well and uh, also some other like smaller concerts as well also there are often like chess boards in this area a bit of a smaller one where really people can play chess just like any day in the summer season i know right now it doesn't seem like summer season is coming <laughs> right yeah we had a very cold wave but actually you were very lucky that you were here right now because at least it's sunny like three days ago it was snowing so oh, wow. yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> You know, I know it sounds like the monkeys, right? But no, no, no. Primate comes from the Latin word prim, primas, and primas really meant like the first mayor of the city. 
Okay, it was also like a privilege uh, given to the royal cities as well. And this building, this palace, I, I can assure you it's the only pink palace we have, we have in the city uh, here in Bratislava. Large grid uh, behind me, so what is, what is that all about? This marks the location of the East Gate okay which was a part of the city walls around Bratislava. Bratislava became a royal city in the late 13th century okay so like in the year 1291 we were given the rights uh, by King Andrew II you know to become an official like king's town which meant we were given many rights but also many duties okay we had to be able to like protect the king in case he was staying within the city okay so we had to have an army and also we had to build up the fortification system aka city walls as you can see our tour guide was very informative she gave us a lot of information but i did the vlog too long so i did have to speed up some stuff so here we are at the Blue Church. I was so excited to visit the Blue Church because I saw pictures and I was like, oh my gosh, this is just so cute. It's cute, baby Blue Church. <laughs> and the church was closed when we went, but you can see on the inside it's blue too. So they committed to the theme 100%. Then we also did some more walking around. We got to see the university and just some different buildings in the area. And also this cool green building, which I tried to find what it was on Google, but whatever I was looking at, no one was telling me what it was. And then here is the bridge here, and you can just look over the river and see more. Tour is going well. The wind is whipping. Yes, it is cold, but it's cool to see everything and learning new stuff about Bratislava. So. Um, I've tried to record as much as I can, but my camera has battery has not been holding at all So I'm charging it um, And yeah, so hopefully you've gotten to see some stuff, but yeah, yeah, yeah Hopefully you can see me and I'm opposite the sun, um, but just finished the tour. It's a little after 12. It's like 12, 11, 12, 12 right now. Um, so I really enjoyed the tour. It was two hours long and that tour was called the Hidden Gems Tour. So I didn't realize that there were like three different tours that they're doing. So they're doing like a city and castle tour and then the Hidden Gems tour, which is everything we saw in mine. Then they said like a 20th century tour. Um, I'm glad I went on the tour I went because I feel like for the city and castle tour, it would have showed a lot of what I already saw like for myself yesterday, but I did not get to see the castle. So I do want to make sure I go do that today. Um, and she also gave us recommendations uh, for the Slovak restaurants. I would like to go there for lunch to, you know, try out this like garlic soup. And I also saw that they have beef tartare on their menu. So I was like, Ooh. that's basically what I have going on right now. I'm going to sit here because we've been walking for, you know, two hours, sit here for, you know, a few, and gather myself. And I'm thirsty. I, I need some water. I see there's a McDonald's over there. So that's probably where I'm going to end up just to get some water and use the bathroom. Um, and then so that I can walk over to the castle. And by that time, it'll, I'll probably be hungry. So yeah, that's what got going on. Bratislava is really, really cool. I really enjoy it here. Okay, I took my little rest. And it's starting to warm up out here a little bit, but it's windy. That's why it's a little cold. Um, and I got my water from McDonald's. Expensive water, 240 euro, but it also included like a ticket to the bathroom. Because I don't know if you know, but a lot of places, <laughs> the bathroom here is not free. So yeah, going to go to the castle now. So going up there, the castle is obviously there. I didn't realize I had to walk up that many steps. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I'm a little out of breath. You can see the UFO building. Where is it? Where was it? I lost it. Anyway, it's somewhere over there. That's where I'll be eating dinner tonight. 
But yeah, here, out of breath, at the castle. but y'all see that how to get up there more stairs <laughs> brb as you can see getting to the castle is a bit of a workout so i'm glad i had bought that water from mcdonald's earlier but here we are at bratislava castle it's very nice very picturesque you can see basically all the city from that little lookout over there and the castle looks larger up close I mean like most stuff and over there's the UFO building so as you go inside there was like all these vendors I know they would be here it was like these small vendors so I wanted to walk around and see and I found a vendor that sold honey this is the local Slovak honey and also mead sorry I'm in the shade but this is where I could sit down but there were like two vendors over there the one I showed you was the one I purchased from and I got the hot um, Honey mead, um, if you know, um, mead is basically like a liquor made liqueur made from honey, and they said it's made of 100% Slovak honey. And I got to try two of their honeys, um, and they were really good. So um, my little cup was three euro. So I was like, yeah, there was mulled wine over there, and I was like, dang, I kind of want that too. But I haven't had mead since I've been out here, but I have had some, you know, a little bit of Slovak wine and I'm going to try more Slovak wine later. So I said, well, let's try the mead. I can't even tell if this is the best angle or not, but this is the mead. Oh, it's round. Sweet, warm. It tastes like smoked honey almost. Really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this. Um, but this is like a nice treat, um, especially since it's a little breezy out here. Um, but yeah, cheers. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold y'all. That that me that me saying a little something. You have about two or three of those. <clears throat> it's gonna be a problem. So yeah, I finished. There was probably more to see and walk around, but now I'm hungry, so I'm going to go to the traditional Slovak restaurant that I had mentioned earlier that the uh, walking tour guide lady had recommended for us. Um, I don't know if I had also mentioned, so I'm going to say it again in case I forgot, but with the walking tour, it's free, but um, they do work off of tips. So because I'm a solo traveler, like I always try to give, um, you know, the people, like I feel like for me, like, okay, a five-year-old tip is good, you know, give the people for their... Um, Child, now they got a Jehovah's Witnesses. They are, they are worldwide. <laughs> Cause they posted right here. I'm weak. But yeah, I'm heading to go eat now. Um, but yeah, it's been cool. It's been cool. This clip is almost a minute long, but I wanted you all to see like walking into the restaurant. So this is the restaurant. I'm like, okay, cool. You see the people in front of me were confused. They were like, is this how we get in? We get in, we're like, are we at the restaurant? No, there's like some brewery thing over there. There's like a brewery thing and you have to keep going for the restaurant. It is huge inside this building. I don't even know what everything was. There was some guy playing piano. I don't even know if he worked there, but as you see, we keep going. As you get upstairs, you're like, okay, I'm in the right place. I'm going to the restaurant. And at the stairs, you see some more like traditional Slovak decorations but here we are you get in line to get seated to eat maybe i should have came a little earlier but that's okay because you know i really have nothing but time but you know there's a little line or whatever so we're gonna see how um how long it takes it's 132 right now so tbd there Okay, so we're inside now. It's like 140, so that wasn't long at all, but I'm splitting the table with this couple. They speak English and also some other European language, but it's cool. We're just here, and we're gonna eat, so 
I'll show y'all what it looks like. But it looks like this is like a very like traditional Slovak tavern type situation. But I'm here for the garlic soup. So. legit like 19 euros so we're, we're we're not getting that but I did find the garlic soup and I'll probably get like a side salad or something like that here we are this is the soda I guess it's like coke but it's on draft like a beer but it's not a beer so it tastes like a sweeter version of root beer kind of not like not like cream soda but like in the root beer type family so that's cool that's cool I've never had anything like it yet okay so we're gonna try the garlic soup I love garlic so Oh, and it has, it has cheese. Other than the cheese obviously being stringy. <laughs> it has a really good um, garlic flavor, like fresh, fresh garlic flavor. Um, okay, they did not give me a fork. That's okay, we'll just use the same spoon for the cucumber. It's just cucumber salad, but refreshing. So yeah, that's everything. I'm gonna eat. Mm. So I just finished at the restaurant. It's a little after 2.30, it's 2.36. It was really good, really filling. Y'all already know, <laughs> it's nap time for me. Um, there's this other like local Slovak wine bar I wanted to try, they open at five. So I'm gonna, you know, go take a nap, freshen up, and then I'll see y'all again when it's time for me to go to the wine bar. But yeah, I feel like I've walked around and seen as much of this side of the city as I wanted to. And then I'll be on the other like newer side when I go to the UFO restaurant tonight. But that's, yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, we back. It's 4.58. <laughs> I done took me a little nap. Freshen up. And now um, I'm about to head to Grand Cru. That is the name of the wine bar. Um, he had really good reviews on Google 4.9. And also I've seen in like a couple travel blogs that like if you don't get to travel to the wine re region of Madra, which is what I was telling you about yesterday, like they did not have tours for solo travelers or I would have been there. I would have been there. Okay. You, you know me. <laughs> um, so that's why I wanted to hit up his wine bar. And then after that, I'll probably head to the other side um, towards the UFO restaurant. I know my reservation is at nine, but I haven't really got to see much over there of like the new side of Bratislava. So I thought that that would be a good way to go walk around and explore and see if there's anything there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the plan. So I'm about to hop across the street. <laughs> he opened at five. I'm finna be like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> My man's had the music on blast, <laughs> but we were having a good time here at Grand Cru. He was very knowledgeable about his wines. I told him I really liked red wine, and he had basically all traditional Slovak wines. So I'm really glad I got to go to this wine gallery because I was able to taste more of the local wine that I wanted to try in, in Madra. Um, I didn't realize that I wasn't facing the light, so a lot of these clips are just dark, my bad. But the wine was great, I promise. <laughs> so you see it's much darker now. It's 7.44. Um, I had just finished at the wine place. I had tried four different wines, but he only charged me for two, so shout out to him. Um, but yeah, I was just there talking to like this couple from South Africa and this couple from Liverpool. So everybody was just, you know, chit-chatting and stuff. So it was cool. Now I'm gonna take the bus over towards the area where the UFO restaurant is. Um, but yeah, that's what we got going on right now. So this is where the bus dropped me off. You can see over there is like where I was like for the bus station, but 
that is where I'm going to dinner. Um, I don't even, I gotta figure out how to get over there because, I mean, look, <laughs> BRB. Baby, I was confused. I was confused. <laughs> but we here now, we here now. Since I arrived a little early to my reservation, they told me that I should head up to the observation deck. So I had to climb these stairs to get up to UFO Tower. And as you can see, you can see the whole city of Bratislava. It looks really cool lit up at night. I wanna say this was around like 8.45. So you can see the sun is setting almost, um, but it looks really nice. And there's the castle over there in the corner. So it was just cool to see this and you know see the dazzling lights it's really cool up here hope you can see me it looks like it's a little like fuzzy unclear whatever but yeah up here on the observation deck um yeah super cool <laughs> So there's an instrumental in the background and I don't know if it's copyrighted or not so the rest of this is just gonna be muted okay I'm pretty sure my drink had like whiskey or bourbon in it but it was really good it was kind of like a whiskey bourbon punch I really enjoyed it um, and that was the amuse bouche I don't even remember what it was but clearly I like some fried oysters there with like a horseradish um, which I typically prefer raw oysters but that's okay it was pretty good and then I got monkfish which is a really ugly looking fish. If you Google it, it's very meaty, but it tasted pretty good. So I branched out and tried some new things at the UFO restaurant. Okay, so it is a little before 11 o'clock. I'm now back at the hostel. Um, I would say my dinner experience there was pretty good. The food was good. I'm not saying that the food wasn't good. I had fried oysters. I did think that they were going to be regular oysters, so I was slightly disappointed because I, <laughs> I prefer raw oysters, but that's just me. Um, and I got monkfish, and the monkfish was good. It's a very meaty fish. I think I may have had monkfish once before, but it's not a fish I eat often. So I was like, hey, you know, while there's something on the menu, like, let me try it. It could have used a little bit more salt, but like everything was good. It's not that it wasn't good. I just feel like I've had fine dining experiences before and they were not that expensive. And why did I spend basically a hundred euro like myself? And y'all saw what I, what I just ate. So I'm like, dang, <laughs> like, I mean, it is what it is, but you know, I feel like for a hundred euro I've had better dining just better food if it's like high-end food it was good it was good but it wasn't great but it is what it is like it's done now and then like i'm on google you know like okay let me see the route to get back home every time i ain't no bus so i had to walk basically like 20 minutes in the dark that's why none of that was recorded like i left the restaurant and i was booking it because it's night it's it's night time like don't nobody be lollygagging in the night time by, their, by themselves so I came back, then why when I'm walking back, I see buses. I'm like, so Google, like, what's, what's, I don't know if it's, I don't know. The, the point is, I don't know. It's done now. I'm back. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. That's basically, that's Bratislava. Uh, tomorrow morning, I have a train from here to Prague at 8.30 a.m. So I am about to get myself together for bed, pack everything up. And make sure we're ready to leave here bright and early tomorrow morning. Hello and good morning. It is Tuesday, April 11th. It is 7.51 a.m. I'm here at the hostel getting ready to leave um, to head to the train station because five countries in 10 days. We're done with Slovakia now and we are on our way to Czechia to go to Prague. So... 
I really enjoyed Slovakia here, um, but honestly, I'm glad I'm leaving today because the hostel is jumping. The hostel is jumping this morning. It's just a lot of people. I'm like, dang, everybody got to use the bathroom. Everybody got to shower. Like, we all doing this at the same time. I didn't know everybody would be up at the crack of dawn, honestly, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have an Airbnb in Prague by myself, so that would be nice to be back by myself. But I'm glad I challenged myself and did something different. And honestly, it really wasn't, it really wasn't that bad. Um, I don't know if I would stay in a dorm type situation because I'm not, I'm not like that. Like I could do the, the private room shared bathroom thing I think I can do, but yeah, I think that's about as far as I'm going to go. No shade to anyone who does it. It's just not my, it don't fit my personality. It just don't. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me go. Um, it is like a 10 minute ride on the tram from here at the hostel to the train station. So I'll get there quick. Train literally leaves at 8.32. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's it. So here at the train station now, it's like 8.10. They, I'm looking at the top because they haven't released the platform yet. So we're just waiting to see. And the train I'm getting on like is in red. So I'm like, maybe it's running behind. They had said something on the announcement about somebody being behind, but I only caught the end, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm here, so. on the train um, so that is it for Bratislava and I will see you in Prague